Hello and good morning. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a five email series or email sequence to nurture and spoil your people who just hopped on your email list. And um, I had a member in my Facebook group ask me, how do I do that? Um, for example, sending an email once a week to your new subscribers and also delivering the freebie. Okay, and I want to show you today how to do that click by click. You go into create a campaign and then create an email. And then you go into automate it because you want that email to be sent out automatically to your new subscriber. You want to first welcome them. So we're going to create a welcome email. I'm going to call it the welcome message. This is the first email where they're going to get the freebie automatically sent that they signed up for. You select a list. In my case, I'm going to select my main list and I click begin. And that's how easy the start is. You already did start your first welcome email. So now you go into design and then you are going to call it the subject. For example, here's your freebie and then a little preview text. Grab it while you can. I mean, you know, whatever you want to say or you can leave that empty as well if you like. And then you go into next and then you go into usually I just choose basic because just keep it simple when you are starting. So click it and here is where you can just create and style up your email. So in this case you can add a logo here, click on it and go into replace. And then you can upload your logo. You can either, you might have it already here and then you click, click on it and select, or you can upload a new one. So I'm going to click on this one, let's say, and I'm going to click insert. And there's the logo. This looks a bit funny because I had uh, made it smaller at some stage. So I'm going to choose that one, see if that's any better, but that's how you replace it if it isn't good enough if it is a bit blurry so see that's that looks better here you can just um i'm gonna delete this because i don't like when it's that big again keep it simple i'm not even gonna put a code in there um to call them by the last name i'm gonna clear the styles here to make it smaller and here is where you um type your email your text like hello there and also when you want to link your freebie so let's say here's your freebie download and then you highlight the text you link it to either a web address which is like you are maybe you have created a page on your website with a video that you want them to have you would get, get the link here or you actually get the link here so let's say you have the video um, you would you would know the URL for it video replay it doesn't exist, so I'm just saying, but if you had uh, created that, so you would copy the link and then you would put it in here, okay? But you may have a download, like an ebook or a, I don't know, um, a download, recipes or something like that. You would click file and then you upload the file of your freebie, might be an ebook or anything like that. So let's say I have a freebie um okay here i just had to look for it because there's just too many things too many files so this is my write your five email welcome series freebie it's a pdf download i would click it now it's uploading and once it's uploaded this is what shows this is what you see and then you click insert and now when people click on the link to down they can download your freebie and then you just you know type the rest of your email and um Oops. This is what happens when I want to do it fast. Chat soon. Um, your website creation coach and click buy, click tech note. And then I usually have a little emoji here and then my signature. So my signature, for example, let me just grab the emoji. Here we go. 
and then when I uh, I always put my signature here so I go into here I go into that little image here content manager because I want to add an image I'm going to close this and then I look for my signature I know it's here somewhere there you go and click insert okay also you can have um, a link on that image. So if I wanted people to click into my website, when they click on my signature, I can do that. And I want that to open in a new window. So you can do that too. Click save and insert. And now people who click on this image, they would land on my website. But you can also have this here underneath here. Check out my website. And then you put the website link in here. And you can also do a PS. I usually do a PS to give them all the quick links that I mentioned in my email. So um, here are the quick links to my free Facebook community of Squarespace newbies, for example. And then I would add the link here to the Facebook group. So link and then add the link to the Facebook group and so on and then you click insert so I'm not gonna do that now and then you click save and then you click save and continue and then you click add another email because you want to have five emails like a five email sequence but first of all we're gonna edit the trigger because this first email you want to go out immediately so click update trigger and then add your second email and it's the, exactly the same thing. So you click into design again. Automation email number two. You can change this name. You can change the email subject, change the preview text and do all of that again and do your second email. So obviously I have to um, add something here and then you go into next and then click the same basic again. At the logo same thing all over again and here um, MailChimp has already added this uh, with the code it's where they can unsubscribe from the list and also how they jumped on your list and then you click save and continue again so it's, it, it's exactly the same thing again it's a bit slow today my computer and then you add the next email and then you keep doing the same thing again add the, another email design it just the way you did before um, give it the name give it an email subject preview text and you would have also if you for the first time you would add your name here as well click next choose the template and design write your email style it up put your logo in and so on you can also you know the way it's gray here I don't want that I want that to be white so that it looks like a normal email the, the more the less pictures you have the better your open rate so um, because Google recognizes come on Google recognizes that uh, when there's a lot of pictures and they um, think it's spam so if you don't have a lot of pictures it's always better so I'm not gonna have my uh, social links here in order to also make the background of the footer white you go into the footer make it white like that click save see and there you go so that's how you design your emails or that's how you write your first email sequence again um, no matter how many emails you want you just keep clicking add email and uh, creating it then you click next once you are done Oh, we forgot something because you have to also change the triggers if you want them to be sent once a week of course you just have to change the triggers here the first email is going to go out immediate immediately with the freebie the second trigger we're going to edit it is going to go out a week later let's say we're gonna go for days seven days later so that they receive the second email the third email is going to go out seven days later after the second email. So we're going to do the same thing, seven days. And you do the same thing with your fourth email and your fifth email. Okay, 
and that's it you click next and then all you have to do is click start workflow this is not possible now because i haven't actually put any content in it's still telling me that they still recognize the default text content and that's a big no-no because obviously you have to put your own text in once that's done and you have created your five emails with your content with your links with your logo if you want a logo you don't have to probably better if you don't i don't have a logo uh, because i don't want that to be recognized as spam at all so uh, yeah create your email make it all nice double check and send you yourself a test email and then you can click start workflow talking of test email i just want to quickly show you how to do that and you can also play around with all the styling so um, let me just quickly show you so to send yourself a test email first of all you can go also into preview test preview and test and their preview mode and then you see it in a little bit of a um, how it's going to look like or what it's going to look like so here i see that it's still not wide so i'm going to change that i go into design i go into page see how that is not white and i wanted it white see that went away so now it's all white and here this one is still uh, because the, the other email i did it in the other email earlier so you can click design click into the footer click into here make it white see and that turned white i don't want the social media icons here anyway we're gonna delete that and that's it so i'm gonna click save and here is also where you send yourself a test email so i'm gonna click that put your email in where you want it to be um, sent to this as a test and click send test and that's it that email is now arriving in your inbox so you can read over it again check for typos actually that reminds me if you wanted to change that link color you don't want it blue so i don't have mine blue i have mine in my normal orange you go back here you go into the body because this is the body text and you scroll down to the link color you make that into your brand color so uh, there is a hex code that you would put in here so that would be your hex code and then it turns into your brand color the link which looks much nicer and is in line with your color so click save and there you go again you can click into enter preview mode and then that's what it's going to look like um, and that's it so again try it all out click into all of these header pre pre header body footer so body this is where the body text is so if you wanted to change the style let's say madonna see how they changed the body text so that's that click save and continue once you're done with all your five emails and then you can click start the workflow if you click next you have all your emails done this will be available to click start workflow and then the little mailchimp hand comes up just like that rock on you've started an automation yay okay that was it for today for the little video on how to set up your workflow your first five welcome emails to nurture your clients and i also created a freebie for you with regards to welcome emails it's the write your five email welcome sequence cheat sheet so if you want to grab that uh, hop on my newsletter the link is below this video and you can just pick that freebie and otherwise i can't wait for next week with my next video leave a comment below if you would like me to show you anything click by click and also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also click the little bell beside the subscribe button to be notified for when i upload a new video and that's it from me today i will talk to you soon